So, some time has passed since the quarantine started and now I've come up with uh, some new developments in my work. I'm at new stages and levels and I have started the illustrations for the children's book. And I'm really excited about the way they're turning out because during the, the beginning of the pandemic, I started practicing drawing and I feel it, the, just that little bit of practice improved it a lot. So th the first thing I did was um, I wrote out the story and then I did another draft and then I did another draft of the story. And then I did a first draft of all the drawings. And then I did a good draft on the watercolor paper. And then I will be taking these um, to... And this is my summer solstice watercolor painting. And I feel like I might actually um, paint this um, on a big scale. And it marks the one month before we're moving um, into our... I'm gonna have a whole new studio one month so I'm really looking forward to that because it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit bigger and yes so I'm halfway done the drop I'm in my comfy clothes because I'm working from home and the first thing I do when I wake up is my um, meditation uh, yoga practice because that's what gives me the imagination and the flow that I need for um, getting inspired and then I sit on the computer and I do the thing that I don't want to do which is write um, I feel it takes like a lot of like mental focus and I know that because I'm haven't been practicing in the past I am using this new muscle and getting better at it every day just a little bit just a little paragraph and going over it and editing it over and over again um and it's actually quite exciting because i'm almost halfway done um the, the writing aspect of the oracle cards that i've been working on for the past couple years and i feel that um it just keeps affirming that good things take time and it's nothing is overnight it's just the constant like determination and dedication and um keeping up and showing up and doubt it i'm i one day might be because i try i tried um i also have this deer and I'm working on this one as well. Um, this one's an old one, but I'm adding a little bit of different elements to it. I always say it's like okay to show it and then come back to it and add more detail. I really like this one a lot um, because of the, the white cats uh, create like these nice uh, contrasting shapes. Um, the other ones that I'm working on uh, um, this one's almost done. It's pretty much done. And working on editing uh, some tracks for the new album. I'm not rushing it. I'm just enjoying the process. It sounds so beautiful and I'm just excited that um, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself to finish it. For some reason, I thought I was gonna finish it this winter, but um, I'm thinking like, take my time and maybe release it next spring. Uh, yes, this is um, a painting that I started working on and I'm just getting ready. I'm going camping um, this week. So um, I have to get some activities for me to do because I do not want to be um, just sitting around I will be sitting around, but I will be also doing what I love to do. this really nice um, eyeshadow. It's actually all natural. And um, yeah, you can see in the <laughs> that I'm working on my tracks in the background. Um, I'm just doing my best. That's all you can really do, but I'm really happy with these songs. So um, I've already dropped this on the ground and one of them exploded. 
but um, I'm going for this look. It, it seems like a, it just takes practice, but I really like it. It's like a twiggy 60s sort of look. I don't know if I look too good with like the, the extended eyelashes at the bottom, but I really like the way this, this looks. Um, it's not perfect. I think this I, I need to practice, but that's the thing. It's just like giving myself a look. I'm not going outside. I'm not going anywhere, but um, just like practicing, seeing what looks good. Cause I never really did my makeup before. I was just like only eyeliner. Like I really like blush. Anyways, hey. So I'm getting my Etsy orders. Um, as you know, I make these perfumes out of aromatherapy essential oils and um these are all labels that i made and um blends that i created and i put little crystals in them as well to help shake up the oils and to have the essence of the crystals in them you could probably also hear um alex is playing drums he got drums he's actually pretty good and you would think that like someone playing drums in your apartment would be um a little much but he, he plays along with music so it's like a little it's actually entertaining and i'm sending these out today because i am going on an adventure um, i'm going camping next week starting tomorrow so i closed down my etsy shop and just getting all the orders out because um for me like i've learned that the faster i put them out then then I don't have to think about them anymore. And I have uh, all my activities lined up for the camping trip. As you know, I've been working on, whoops, the children's storybook uh, about the, the girl who's learning about um, magic. And um, I finished almost half of the drawings and I'm gonna begin uh, like a like fun watercoloring um, I have like this this is like a rough sketch of a painting that I want to do um, in watercolors so that's what you do when you're um, straight edge as you you come up with fun ideas but I've been straight edge for a while now and it just takes some time to get used to, but you you need stuff to replace the the stuff that you used to do. So like, it's it's coming on ten years where I haven't uh, been drinking. So like, what do I do when I go camping? Um, I like to meditate. I like to play music. I like to uh, write. I like to just like th think about like creative ideas. So that's where I'm at. I also have um, some sheet music because I'm bringing my Bundera. And um, when I get back, I'm gonna start getting ready to paint the walls because we're moving in a month. And that is um, the job at hand. So like it took like a couple of months to paint all the walls um, with murals in this apartment. And it'll probably take two days to paint all the walls white because uh, creation is takes a lot more energy than destruction that's why I'm like creating and being creative is like so powerful because like destroying is so easy so that's what I'm up to and I will um, probably make a video um, while I'm out camping so happy creating and yeah whatever you're doing that is fulfilling you're making the world a better place if it has to do with love then you're on the right path and um i also just made um, most of my earlier uh, studio tours available um i've i've made them public again because for a bit i was like oh my goodness i was such an out there artist back as i started um i think this was like six years ago when i started making these videos and i just felt wow um I'm really caffeinated. I was drinking a lot of caffeine and just working on like such random projects. So now I feel a little bit more grounded and I just feel that like um, part, part of the process is just um, 
experimenting like I was before with different mediums and um, not be being so good at painting. Um, but that's, it's nice for like beginners to see that uh, you have to start somewhere, especially if you didn't go to art school and just like continuing to practice. Practice is, um, is half of a bit and dedication is the other half. <laughs> and it's a lifelong journey. That's why it's so exciting to be an artist is you start now and like imagine where you'll be 10 years from now. And I'm still like, I think I'm 10 years out from where I started. Um, when I was 19, I like just got into painting because um, I just loved the idea of like making something out of nothing. And who knows where I'll be 10 years from now. So um, that's why it's nice to document your work. Uh, we have cameras. Back in the day, we, we didn't have like access to video like we have now. So like these are um, online journals, online like documents of like of our progress because um, time does move fast. It really does. So like, what? how are you spending your time? Um, I know for me, I want to make the most out of every moment. Relaxing is important too to the creative process. So have a beautiful day and I'll catch you later.